What's up guys, Nick and Beer back this week with another chapter video. So excited to be doing this again. Sadly, we're going on break for a month after this, but that's okay. Um, Oda's having surgery on his eyes, which is really important. So he can't do this work without his eyes. So he's got to, we're going to have a month break. But as far as I know, the anime will still be rolling. But let's go ahead, jump right in the chapter. Because la the last few weeks have been absolutely insane with Emu, the Gorosei, like the the D in the names, you know, like Lily of Alabasta. And then we got Sabo, you know. So it's it's been a hit. Big bangers all the past few weeks. So let's jump right into this chapter. All right, guys. Let's see. All right, weekly jump. I like that. I like the way One Piece is written right there. It's really cool. And of course, TCB scans, they always do a great job. These guys, Evan, um, Teal, M, and Dark Phoenix, and No, sir, I hope, maybe CDR, Portgus, No, sir, CDR, and Evan and Teal. They do a great job. Notes. It's funny, I was working behind the scenes on the live action adaptation long before production even began on some of the movies I helped with, like Film Red and Stampede. That that is kind of funny. Oda um worked on the stuff before he even knew it. That that's pretty funny. Yo, let's get this little ad out the way. No rain, no rainbows. <laughs> One piece. I don't know who the cat is, but um, hey, got a little toe. You know, I like this. I like the look. I like that artwork. I like this a lot. It's pretty. Got a lot of colors in it. I like it. Back at Marijuana, guys. And so the curtains drew closed on the reverie before the news of King Cobra's murder came to light. The fallout from reverie. So you're telling me. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, the five elder planets. I know a lot of people would probably theorize that, but my theory was a Chinese goddess with the five planets that's hers. So. This is Princess Vivi of Alab Arabasta. Hasn't anyone seen her? Where is the king? <laughs> Has his condition worsened? All the while, a number of stowaways held their breath as they attempted to escape on v various royal vessels. Hey, whose ship is this? The Aegis Kingdoms. We're on Aegis's ship, Morgans. What? Gotcha. We'll fly our headquarters over and pretend to look for a scoop. Use that chance to hop aboard and don't get yourselves caught before then. I owe you one. You got that right. A king somehow became the subject of a manhunt. This is big news. I can't wait to hear all about it. So, what exactly did you see in there, Waffle? Like I tell you, <laughs> leave me alone and get back to your own ship. I can't. CP0 is no joke. Now that they're after me, it won't matter how much everyone tries to help. Those agents won't rest till I'm back in their custody. That's a fact. They've been hunting Nico Robin for literally a, over, over a decade. Now, let me bar borrow your transponder snail. I need to talk to my father as soon as possible. He's a total worry wart. Anything but that get lost already. What's wrong with you? Oh, there they are. They're looking for Sabo and her. I'm hungry. The Kingdom Ship Hatch Section. The Lucia Kingdom Ship Bilge Section. If I can just make it to Lelugia, I know I can figure something out. Oh, he's he's looks a little badly injured too. I'm counting on you, Sabo. You must live on. Dude, I am so hoping that there is a battle with the Revolutionary Army, Luffy's group, and his um pirate fleet and the world government. That would be absolutely amazing. It didn't take long for the two key stories to spread across the globe. The murder of King Cobra of Al Arabasta and the disappearance of his daughter, Princess Vivi. 
the holy land of Mary Joa, the man they call Sabo. <laughs> They're back in their room. He seems to have a checkered fate. How else can you account for him constantly being surrounded by those who bear the letter D? I was hoping we would be able to see to the egghead issue now, but it seems that dealing with this complication will have to take priority. Pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, it. check. Yes, great emu. Pangea Castle Flower Room. The time has come to put Vegapunk's invention to test. Use the mother flame. Wait a minute. It wasn't her power. You telling me that Dr. Vegapunk made a island destroyer? It is true we haven't had the chance to try it out before now, so there's no way to ascertain it, its effectiveness yet. Depending on how well this experiment goes, Egghead may reconsider its response. I think a forest area would be a more suitable testing ground than a sea-based target. Lelucia Kingdom. Quite a lot of people live there. That is no consequence. Understood. The world moves at the will of the creator. What? Hold on. What is the reason for Lelucia's selection? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The creator. The will of the creator. I'm telling you, the more I see with these guys, the more my theory is correct. It's close proximity. I will make necessary preparations. Wait, no. It shall be as you say. Yeah, that's it. Bro, Vegapunk made a freaking plant, a freaking island destroyer. That is insane. And that you that is that's like equivalent to the Death Star here. I humbly request your patience in the meantime. Five elders, planets, defense science warrior god, Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Bro. My theories. Yes. Lelucia citizens have shown sparks of rebellion recently. Five elders, planets, environmental warrior god, St. Marcus, Mars. We may be able to make an example out of them. <laughs> Justice, warrior god, five elder planets. St. Topman, Valkyrie. If we could one day use the power freely, Five Elders, Planets, Finance, Warrior God, St. Ethan Baron, V. Nusjuro. We could instantly snuff out any protracted conflict. Yeah. Five Elders, Planets, Agriculture, Warrior God, St. Shepherd, Jupiter. Jupiter. Obviously. So is that going to relate to any of their powers with what their defense, science, environmental warriors, justice, and finance, and agriculture? Will that be like, is this hinting at their future powers? Or is it going to be like something to do with the planet itself? One more thing. Of course, retrieve Vivi as you wish. Meanwhile, the kingdom of... Tajin and the Aegis Kingdom are both rebelling. Between the disbanding of the Seven Warlords and the uprisings in the government-affiliated nations, the Navy has their hands full. However, deploy the Seraphims, bro! Yes! Doflamingo Seraphim! Moria Seraphim! And Crocodile Seraphim! And they look cool! They look gangster. Doflamingo Flamingo is rolling in like, yeah, bro. I'm Do Flamingo. Yeah. Crocodile was spotted on MT Bluffs Island. The military power had already gone in a new direction. So this was going on while, man, while we were in Wano, there's so much that's been going on. 
Dude, I'm glad to see freaking Moria. Moria's one of my favorite warlords as far as his powers go. I just feel like he had the wrong... Him having his powers was the wrong character because he was lazy. So he became weak. The second week docked at Lelucia. The people arrested King Seki and Princess Komain. They were just waiting to ambush the royals. Since I was a stowaway, they welcomed me with open arms. That's when I saw the papers and found out that they pinned King Cobra's murder on me. Unsurprisingly, the people there considered me a hero. I wanted to tell them the truth, but when I saw how that lie fanned the flames of rebellion within them, the words died in my mouth. Betty and the others had already inspired a lot of them, and I ended up bringing many of those hopeful recruits back with me. I couldn't make direct contact without any encryption snail. So I re rerouted my call through the island while we were setting sail. I knew the government would intercept the signal, but doing it like that was sure to fool them into thinking I was still on Illusia. However, I was just within range, having already set out to sea with our new enlistees. So the annihilation of Lelucia really did happen during that call. Yeah, everyone on board was hysterical. A lot of them have family on the island. They saw their country obliterated right in front of their eyes. Despicable. How in the world did they do it? An enormous shadow seemed to engulf the sky above us. And the next moment, everything was gone. An enormous shadow. No way it was caused by a living thing or some natural disaster. Something pitch black was flying above the clouds. Flying above the clouds. Bro, what has Vegapunk created? What is this mother flame? The dude made a UFO. Bro, we're... <laughs> Oh, God. The more I see it, the more I think One Piece might go to space. Which is absolutely insane. Samba, earlier you said they used the name Emu. Right. This may be a little out there, but... <laughs> when the world we know today was created 800 years ago, one of the first 20 sovereigns Vaz Saint Emu of the House Narona. So, she was one of the original 20. Now look at this. Since we know an ability granting eternal youth is said to exist. Bro, oh my god! Yes, the eternal, the peaches of eternity. Oh my gosh! Yes, I it, like just it's it's right. I'm yes. The more I'm taking wins here, I'm taking wins. Xiangmu and the five elder planets, and she protects the peaches of eternity. Boom! Eternal youth. All I need. Boom! I have been right this entire time, months before anyone ever said it. Just know it was from here. Someone has used it before, right? Which means there is a person out there that doesn't need to worry about death. So you think the one I saw is, it could possibly be a coincidence. Maybe they just share the same name, but could anyone else but a founder command the five elder planets, the highest of the world nobles? The celestial dragons fancy themselves as the descendants of the gods, after all. One more thing. Assuming the object you saw above the clouds was a weapon, a weapon made by the government, the only one capable of creating such thing would be Vegapunk. Hold it, Iva. Vegapunk would never intentionally design a dedicated killing machine. I know. So that, if it was an ancient weapon.
Assuming Emu has been living since ancient times, there is a connection. Robin told us that the ancient weapons do in fact exist, but if this person has such a weapon, why wait till now to use it? So it's a possibility that Vegapunk has been working on an ancient weapon or working on something to make it work and they used it. The ancient weapons. So it's either Pluton or Neptune. I'm like, Crocodile was after Pluton because it's supposed to be powerful. So is this, is this Pluton? Present day, the Holy Land of Mary Jawa. Who the f- Hold on. We gotta hold on. A celestial dragon has just been sentenced to death. What? Our supply, our food supply is gone, eh? We have no bread. All we have is cake. However, this information will never be reported to the outside world. The judge, the former king of the land known as God Valley. Holy crap, what? What is going on? He currently serves as Supreme Commander of God's Knights. His name is Sar Saint Figurland Garling. Bro, Garland from like Final Fantasy? Bro, he's the... Oh my God, God Valley. God Valley. He was the king of God Valley and he serves under, he serves as the leader of the God Knights. Bro, what is this? What, what are we, hold on, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Bro, I can't get over this. That's freaking awesome. It's this guy, the man he sends to execution, none other than the one who chose to defend Fishman, Saint Don Quixote Mjolnir. Anyone who protects scum is lower than the scum they protect. <laughs> so you're telling me this man was so powerful that they brought him on board and to take over as the God's Knights. He is the former king of the land known as God Valley. That is absolutely insane. Bro, the end of One Piece. Of course, we go on a five-week break is what it said, and I already said it's Oda's having a surgery on an astigmatism, which is an eye issue. So, but right before break, he gives us such an absolute lore drop. God Valley, the former king of God Valley, being over the God Knights. And if the picture from before is true, where it showed Shanks, being in it looked like a silhouette of shanks that means this guy's stronger than shanks the world government has every power in the world in this in this i am convinced now that they have the power to do whatever they want this is why they've been able to do it but also god valley that means he had to pick a side he probably chose to fight with roger and garp if he's on the government side And then, because Rocks and them, do we need, we need a whole flashback. We need a whole flashback just like Odin's about God Valley. And I cannot wait to see it. Dude, this, this is absolutely insane. And to our readers, thank you for reading One Piece to accommodate Oda Sensei's upcoming eye surgery. One Piece will be taking a break, excuse me, taking a break from issue 29 on sale Monday, June 19th until issue 32 on sale Monday, June 10th. We're very sorry for the delay. Thank you for your understanding. Serialization is scheduled to resume issue in issue 33 on sale Tuesday, July 18th. Your continued support of One Piece is greatly appreciated. And here it is, is him saying it himself and um, out of himself. I know everyone's excited to see where One Piece Final Saga goes next, but I felt like I had to get this procedure out of the way. It's going to grant me the ability to shoot beans from my eyes. 
<laughs> yes. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, I don't want to worry my readers, but I've recently found myself, myself saying, "Huh, a lot of twins running around these days." Before I realized it was because of my astigmatism, which has gotten pretty severe. Everything I see is blurry. It's been interfering with my work. I've been discussing it with the chief editor since last year, and he told me to just go get it done. So hopefully I'll be returning soon with improved vision and also the ability to shoot eye beams. I hope you don't mind giving me a little time off, Ichiro, Ichiro Oda. A comment from Oda Sensei. Oh my God, the chapter notes. Ah, uh, colored panels by Grish. The dude Grish doesn't. Whoever it is does an amazing, amazing job at all the color panels they do. Yep, that's it. That's all of them. That's still a great color panel. And I, I like how he chose the color red for the eye. Mihawk's eyes isn't red, but that looks just like Mihawk's eyes, just different. Okay, I'm going to read this too. We decided to adapt the full version of the Five Elders title as the Five Elder Planets. It had previously been translated as the Five Elder Stars due to the third character in their title, Say, commonly meaning star, like Saint Seiya. However, the characters can also refer to other celestial bodies like planets. It, in fact, can be found in the same of most planets in Japanese. For example, Mars is, and I, I can't read kanji. With the introduction of their full names all being references to planets, we have opted for the translation to better suit the apparent intention of their title. Regarding the names of the elders themselves, many of the intended references remain a total mystery outside their clear planetary name scheme, so we will not speculate on all of them. However, after some deliberation, we decided to go with Saint Topman Valkyrie, as a spelling for the Justice Warrior God's name in order to fit in all potential references. <laughs> the first half of the name, Kanji, I can't read, can be ro Romanized as a wild vow war and opting for vow allows us to acknowledge possible references to the Valkyrie. That's exactly what I was thinking, Valkyrie. The planet Mercury can be spelled as that kanji, which I cannot read. And the latter half of the word shares its spelling with physicist Mary Curie, the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. Her name also sounds like Mercury, and her work in radiology is world famous. She has a notable pop culture presence in Japan. We may update the names in any more information, if any more information comes to light. And if that is the case, if he has the power to radiation, that's going to be absolute stupid. Like, that power alone can, like, wipe out islands. Radiation. You think Queen the Plague is bad with his, like, diseases and things he's made. That, this, that's nothing on this. Guys, this, this chapter was such a lore bomb. Oh, my gosh, man. I'm going to zoom this back in. My gosh, guys, this chapter was insane and amazing. Like, just so much. The, the God Knight leader, the God Knight's leader, the, being the past king of God Valley, which just disappeared. And if they've never used the Mother Flame before now, how, what happened to God Valley? Did the battle with Garp and Roger versus the Rocks Pirates really destroy the island. Because I believe it. We seen what two admirals did, Aokiji and Akainu did to Punk Hazard. They completely changed the biosphere. One half is completely frozen, one is lava forever and all, for all time. So the four Yonkos, their captain, Garp and Roger, fighting all at once. And we don't know who all was on this Garp and Roger side, which I'm going to assume the king of Lelouch, not the king of Lelouch, the king of God Valley was there. That makes three people that we know are insane powerhouses fighting each other. So that's 
absolutely insane holy crap what this is not the same but it's what if because didn't shanks get found on god valley what if shanks is the son of the leader of the god's knights bro theories theories through the roof i love how every chapter just leaves you with more theories about what's going to happen because the, the story is going in a direction obvious direction but there's so much about characters we don't know that we can speculate would the gore say everything this this is i'm telling you my theory shiwamu the five planets the she watches over the eternal peaches of eternity so i'm, I'm set I, i'm set on my theory 100 percent. i don't think it can be debunked unless just oda comes out of nowhere you know but guys this chapter was amazing I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought about this chapter. Subscribe, like, like, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace.